Yes, anyway, we're going to make you some fried up saltfish today. We're going to serve it with some rice and peas. Something totally different on the menu. Hopefully, you will love this one. And also, subscribe. We're looking at these 500 likes on this video and least 200 comments guys that will be brilliant that will make me a big big dream in my life thank you so much for subscribing and leaving your comments below we got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe coming out for you so write and tell me what you think about it fry up saltfish and serve it with some jamaican gungo peas enjoy the recipe and subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and also facebook google plus me and 50 percent on my cookbook stay tuned I'm gonna explain exactly what I have right here guys just for you to see one scotch bonnet pepper one clove of garlic 250 grams of the salt fish I boil it off earlier and finally pick it up really nice we got yellow pepper yellow pepper red pepper green pepper spring onion and some carrot and some white onion we're going to fry up the vegetable first and then we're going to have the salt fish you guys are going to love this one because it's something totally different this one going to serve with some rice and peas some gungo rice and peas and i know you guys will love it so please subscribe and leave your comments and this is the way all we're going to fry it up we got some sweet corn which we're going to add so it awesome so enjoy it guys why not enjoy it nice so right here medium sized pot on the stove what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil, roughly about two tablespoons of oil. Nice one. Um, I know you're going to be frying up a little bit because it's getting hotter and hotter. So basically what we're going to do is to get some flavor from the garlic. First thing, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, and all of those lovely season. Just going to pop, pop this lovely season inside of it just like that. As you can see exactly what is taking place right there. And that is fantastic. So what we want to do is put on the lid and allow it for fry for roughly one nice good 10 minutes. Getting the garlic and the season in the flavor in it. You're gonna love it. Really fantastic recipe guys. All right, we're gonna give it at least five minutes. Nice and lovely, guys. Look at this. Yeah, man. Fry up and looking lovely. That's exactly what I thought about. Cause I wanna get it fried up, you know. And it looks nice, you know. What we're going to do? Put in the saltfish. And some sweet corn. If you got some chopped tomato, some tomato, you know what I mean, you can put it to it, but I didn't have any. <laughs> some people say, oh, Chef Ricardo never have anything, but I just say, go. Sometimes you check, say you got things there, oh, some cracked peppers. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Nice. Bring a lovely flavor to it, you know? Nice man, look at that beautiful recipe with the colour, you know? Colour it really nice. Cover that and give it another couple more minutes. Nice one. So what we're going to do now is add a little bit of ketchup to it and give it a mix. And this looking lovely and nice. Few more minutes and it's going to be ready. Yes, sir. Uh, this is it right here. No, this is finished. We're going to do is shear thought, all right? And as you can see, it looking colorful and nice. I'm gonna share it out right now. No, is it with it? Enjoy, guys. Just have a serve on. 
the gumbo. As you can see, looking lovely and nice. Yeah man, this is a gongo. Alright. And this one is a saltfish. Fried up lovely saltfish guys, look at that. Mm-hmm. This is exactly what me are talking about. Really fantastic and nice. So please subscribe the channel, leave your comments below as you can see. Fried up saltfish served with some gungo rice and peas. And you know what I mean, it's just really nice. So please subscribe, leave your comments below. We got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe like this coming your way. My name is Chef Ricardo and I represent Jamaica and the Caribbean, the best food you can ever think of. So subscribe, 500 like, and at least 200 comments will be brilliant for me. All right guys, tune in, we got a lot more ideas coming here. See you next time, bye bye.